So Scott, if a, if a young filmmaker approached you and asked you some advice about capturing sound, uh, what, would you, what would you tell them? You know, um, it's interesting that usually working on post-production, we don't get involved with the movie mm -hmm. early on like we did on this one, but since we did, and we had a chance to talk about that a little bit, I think uh, the first rule, I would say, for production sound is um, always run sound because um, so often, you know, if they're uh, hurried up to get the shot, um, taken if they're having problems with lighting or whatever. Uh, there's a tendency sometimes to shoot without sound. Right. And um, it's always a good idea to roll some kind of sound. And um, maybe it's a scene where um, they think that, uh, you know, it's a windy day or something and that the sound can't be used anyway. But it's always good to have um, sound for, if no other reason, to have the, uh, the sync sound that they had when they were speaking. So if we have to replace the dialogue, we have a sync reference. Right. Um, a lot of times if it's, um, they decide not to run sound because, well, no one's talking. They're just uh, doing some action in the scene. They're walking down the street. They're doing this and that. There's nothing better than to have the original production sound to go along with the picture right. um, to capture that when it happens. You know, something else that I would um, I would suggest when you're shooting your film is, um, you know, you always wonder why they say, okay, we're going to take room tone now. Well, what what is that room tone for? You, uh, If you're on production a lot and haven't spent a lot of time in uh, post-production, you may wonder what that's for, but that's very useful. Um, what that does is if we do have to replace sound with an ADR line or something, we want that sound to fill the spot where we took out the dialogue so that we have a consistent tone. Also, um, we may end up using that sound as part of the, the ambient so that we um, we have something to, um, to match against. Um, uh, something else that's very useful, if, if an actor um, stumbles on a line or blows a line, it's much easier while you're in the moment um, to try to get the actor to say the line again as a wild take or a wild line. Um, and that, you know, to have real production ADR, so to speak, mm -hmm. is still going to match better and going to sound a lot better than when we try to recreate it in the studio later. So if there's that occasion where you've done a whole scene, maybe someone um, they overlap their lines with another actor or you notice something like that or they flood their line but the rest of the take is great um, you know try to get that actor while he's in the moment to speak the line again because uh, that kind of replacement is much easier to use than um, than something that's done after the fact. 